Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of area of a rectangle. This is standard 3.6c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Ms. Gonzalez is putting square stickers. That's going to be very important. These are little squares. Each sticker has an area of one square inch, right? So there's our unit. So these are little square inches. She's already put some stickers in there to show us how many rows and how many columns we have here. So what is the area of the entire poster? Hmm. Okay. Well, we need to fill this out with stickers, right? So let me show you kind of a slower way to do this. And I'll show you the faster way to do this. You could, I would suggest maybe using your mathematics chart as a straight edge, something just to make sure you get really straight lines, because you see my lines aren't perfect here. You could just fill this out. All right, so I'll trace this line up here so it looks like it's part of it. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to fill this out with all of these columns. So let's see how many stickers we have and then we could just count and literally put a number for inside each of these that's going to be a correct method but it's also going to be kind of a slow and time consuming method but it'll work so let's see if i were to label across one two three four five six seven eight and then i keep going nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I can go all the way down, and I would I would get my answer. How many square stickers can I put on this rectangular poster? I could keep going all the way down. But that's kind of a slower way. Check out a slightly faster way. Right. So we know that area, if we were to look on our mathematics chart, you're going to get area equals L times W, right? We'll take a look at what we have here. We've got 8, 16. These are just groups of 8, right? So I could just do repeated addition. I could do 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. That's one way to do it. Or you might be thinking, you know what, that's probably a multiplication problem. How many groups of 8 do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here's the faster way. You can just fill in every single square, but you can also multiply your length times your width. You can say, you know what, I've got seven rows. That's how many rows I've got. I've got eight columns, right? And if you were to multiply your seven times eight, that's just a basic fact. We know that. That's going to get us our 56. So if you were to keep filling this out, right, 17, 18, 19, 20. But once we see that, this becomes kind of silly, doesn't it? We could just multiply the length times the width. And that's why they give us the two rows. All right, so we see our, our 56 right there is F. Let's see where some of these other answers are coming from. So 42, 42 is going to be, that's a 7 times 6. So I'm not sure where we would get our 6 from because it's 7 times 8, but that's an incorrect answer that you could be getting with that 7 times 6. Oh, I know what that is. Check this out. If you just did the inside right here and you didn't count the smiley face stickers that are already there, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 across, and I've got 6 down. So that's just counting the inside, okay? And then 48, right? Well, that's going to be 8 times 6. So now we're, we're getting 8, but we're missing this first row. And then 15 is literally counting how many smiley face stickers are actually sitting on the deal right now. You're just counting the smiley face stickers uh, that you see there. And, and so that's going to be that. But all those are incorrect. Our answer is going to be F56.